All right, boys and girls, welcome to the Dr. Seuss Reading Lounge. Today we're going to talk about the Lorax. It's a story about what happens when you don't take care of the environment. The main character is named Wunzler, and he cuts down a beautiful truffle tree to use its leaves to knit a shirt. So when he makes some money selling the shirt, his business grows and he cuts more truffle trees down, and the Wunzler soon meets another character named the Lorax. The Lorax appears and warns the Wunzler to stop cutting trees down and to take better care of the environment. Does the Wunzler listen to the Lorax? You'll need to read the book to find out. Well, this book is fiction. The Lorax reminds me of a real life person named John Muir. John Muir is a famous naturalist and a preservationist. Kind of looks like him too. Back in the late 1800s and early 1900s, John Muir grew increasingly concerned about how people were cutting down trees and destroying forests. So it was during that time in America of great growth of, for businesses and factories. John Muir spoke out to preserve or to protect and save large areas of nature. Yosemite National Park became a protected area because of John Muir's work. He also founded the Sierra Club, which supports programs to save the environment. John Muir and the Lorax both saw beauty in nature. They both saw the need to protect that beauty. Read the Lorax, written by Dr. Seuss, to see what happens in the story. And come with me to Yosemite National Park to see what John Muir fought so hard to preserve. El Capitan, Spanish for the chief or the captain, is the name of Yosemite's famous vertical rock formation that is about 3,000 feet high. It is mainly made up of granite rock. The climbers take days to conquer El Capitan. They have equipment, food, water, and supplies. They sleep on a ledge tent that is secured to the rock. However, there are speed climbers that can scale the wall in less than three hours. All right, guys, this is El Capitan in Yosemite, right there. People actually take days to climb this thing. Here's a video clip of my friend Voltaire and his buddy Ryan, who are expert climbers. They took on the challenge to climb El Capitan, and it took them several days. You can see all the equipment that they brought along with them, but you can see the views that El Capitan will give you as you climb and ascend to the summit. This is from Climbing El Capitan. If you go to Yosemite, you have to check out the beautiful waterfalls. They're lovely, but they are dangerous. Yosemite has the tallest waterfall in America, and it's called the Upper Yosemite Fall. The Mist Trail brings you along the Merced River and stops at Vernal Fall and Nevada Fall. The amount of water depends on the amount of snow and rain that season. All right, here we are at the Mist Trail going up to Vernal Falls. Yeah, there you go. Okay, right there. No, back there. Yeah. 
Half Dome. It is one of Yosemite's most famous landmarks. And why do they call it Half Dome? Well, it looks like half of a dome. It rises more than 4,700 feet above the valley floor and is made up of mainly granite rock. Thousands of hikers every year hike the 8.5 miles from the floor to the peak of Half Dome, and it takes about 12 hours to do the trip. <laughs> Here is Half Dome. 